So if you love watching Bollywood films, then I'm sure you have some of your favorite films. So yeah, that's what I'm going to talk about today. This is Kalio Pal and today I have got my top 5 Bollywood romantic films. Bollywood films or Hindi films. Now see I belong to the 80s 90s generation. So of course my favorite films are mainly from that time you know. What I liked growing up or say the early 2000s you know till now. I am not really a fan of uh, a lot of romantic films because I feel Bollywood romance is very much boring it's not realistic it's it's just cliche you know I have definitely seen a lot of changes from the time I was a kid and till now of course because you know when we used to have like strict parents and uh, there was a lot of uh, families uh, who would I'm sure oppose love marriage and stuff so there used to be movies like Kayamat Se Kayamat Tak then of course there came Mene Pyar Kiya or Dil and slowly there came a time about parents saying yes but after the whole movie is over at the end at the climax you know the guy has to prove that he is worth marrying this actress then of course recently in the last few years there have been a lot of realistic romantic films so you know like no parents interference parents are very chilled out in fact they are very much friendly with uh, their children and uh, the children live on their own terms this is like about a modern Indian dating scenario you know they travel, they see the world, they don't have committed relationships or at least the guy doesn't have committed relationships and they give importance to their careers. They don't believe in restricting or um, stopping the other person just because of love. <laughs> love ki khet ki moli hai. Everything else is important but then they realize that no, love is that feeling which just stays. Especially if uh, the other person is a soulmate then it will stay no matter where you live in the world. So we have seen different different kinds of uh, love stories in the last few years and I'm sure you agree with, the, with me because as a kid I used to feel that love is just wrong. <laughs> You know, I will just have an arranged marriage or for a long time I used to think I don't want to get married, you know, because love is so bad because that's what they show in movies. And then of course, then I started uh, growing up and I saw some other films where it was no, you know, you just have to make sure that your parents will finally agree. You just have to make them understand. <laughs> so Bollywood has had a lot of influence at least on me of course now i'm mature i <laughs> i don't depend on films to teach me about love and stuff but it made a difference to my life at least so first movie which i can think of is my favorite all-time favorite and i've watched this movie so many times every time it came on tv i think i even have a dvd of that film that's jump we met so Jabi Mer is a romantic drama film directed by Imtiaz Ali and it stars Kareena Kapoor and Shahid Kapoor as a lead pair. So to tell you the story in brief, this feisty Punjabi girl Geet meets a depressed Mumbai businessman on a train journey and how both their life changes because of the impact they have on each other. So he falls in love with her but she already loves someone else but then her family thinks that she has eloped with him and what happens further for that you have to watch the film so the reason why i love this film so much and i have watched it like at least 15 times it's because of the simplicity of the film and you know it has these 
opposite characters both Karina's character is like so bubbly and Shahid is more of the mature kind but of course how they both transform in one year or how you know one incident can kind of change you totally or at least momentarily and this is not like you know usual Gisa Pita kind of romance the story was so refreshing like I had not seen something before like that and the first half has so many feel-good moments it makes you laugh it makes you smile and of course the second half like takes a serious turn and then back to you know funny moments <laughs> especially uh, the one with uh, the guy who plays Karina's um, boyfriend that is so funny <laughs> you know that one dialogue that was so funny he was such a Fuddu character so yeah so in the movie like you know I feel both the characters have something to learn from each other so I feel yeah the chemistry is so amazing and both the characters have something to learn from each other and eventually of course like a smart woman she takes the best decision for that you should watch the movie if you haven't and the direction is good the, the cinematography is amazing and of course the music songs are amazing so yeah that's the number one the second movie again which I have watched a lot of times is Hamtum now Hamtum is a romantic comedy and it's directed by Kunal Kohli and it stars Saif Ali Khan and Rani Mukherjee in the lead roles so the lead characters they first meet on a plane and uh, of course Saif starts to talk to Rani and um, initially you know she's fine with it but then this guy is just trying too hard and uh, he just does something which she kind of hates so eventually over the years they keep meeting and um, initially you know they they are always kind of bickering because both are so different Seth is more like a commitment phobic you know but you know a womanizer or Casanova and uh, Rani's character is more like you know she is more suljiwi kind of so after one incident which happens in Rani's life you know they both become good friends and of course uh, Sev's character kind of matures and uh, Rani's character kind of you know goes through a lot of transformation initially she's like you know this nice uh, ambitious fun loving chirpy kind of girl but uh, later on she becomes really vulnerable because of something which happens and then Seth tries to cheer her up and you know how things change their relationship kind of changes and um, what happens next for that you have to watch the film if you haven't so again why I like this movie so much is um, so the film is uh, again not your typical Bollywood romantic film you know sanskar bullshit this is very much uh, modern you know it shows these two Indian characters who travel the world, who live life on their own terms and um, the chemistry between the lead pair is amazing. Though we have seen uh, a lot of films where the guy is kind of Casanova and then eventually maybe he changes or he kind of falls in love and stuff. And it was nice, you know, adding a little bit of animation in the story at different stages of their lives running it parallel according to the storyline that was also very cute i feel so definitely my favorite go and watch it third film is band baja barat it's a romantic comedy it is directed by manish sharma and the lead pair is anushka sharma and ranveer singh so basic story of the film is that both are wedding planners and they fall in love very fresh subject so the lead pair meet at a wedding uh, where Anushka's character Shruti is the assistant of the wedding planner now the next day Bittu meets her Bittu is Ranveer Singh's character he meets her on the pretext of you know just flirting gives her a DVD of 
her dance moves so he tries to impress her and uh, shruti tells him that see she is not interested in uh, all this flirting and her only focus is to open or to start a wedding planning business so bitu's father wants him to like go back to their village and help with the sugarcane business and bitu is like no so he just lies about you know starting a business of, of wedding planning and uh, shruti's relatives are like you know asking her to get married so she tells her parents that see i have to focus on my wedding planning business just give me 5 years and once that is set up and nicely booming i will get married to whoever you want me to so after that um, bitu asks shruti like to make him a business partner she says that oh now you're saying to make you a business partner and then later on you will say that you know you you want me to be your romantic partner so he says see okay fine there's one rule in business that is to not get love in the way so they start their business it's uh, great you know and one drunken night kind of changes a lot of things in their equation and what happens after that for that you have to watch the movie so the film story was very much fresh and uh, both the lead pair even though they were newcomers they were so amazing their acting was great they fit the characters really well the chemistry between them was awesome the music and songs were great so what else do you want as a vasool the fourth movie which i really like is love archkal love archkal was a romantic comedy uh, directed by imtiaz ali and it stars deepika padukone and saif ali khan in the lead roles of course it has rishi kapoor and rahul khanna as supporting cast so the basic story is about if you have a true soulmate you know no matter where you live your true love will never change so you might try to be practical and stuff but uh, if it is true love then the feelings will never change and um, you cannot probably live with anyone else or nothing else will make you happy another thing is um, what i like about the film is the main story is you know about this modern day couple living in london they decide to like you know mutually have a breakup which very much happens you know in today's world uh people have to go for studying or for work or for whatever you know they are very practical in their approach but then they don't realize that true love will not change you know time place nothing will change your true love so even though they try to act all you know chilled out and you know practical but then love finally finds its way and uh, parallel to this is the story of rishi kapoor and he actually tells the tale of his love story you know during his youth you know what happened and how he just fell in love just looking at that girl who is his wife now how can people just fall in love just looking at that person and he decides to get married to her and there is family opposition and what happens next that you should watch the film so that's what i like about this film i think the young generation definitely would consider this film you know of their generation very modern we try to act very practical but then emotions get in the way that's what always happens the chemistry between both of them is amazing So of course uh, you can say you know that thoda bahut melodrama hai in the second half but then theek hai utna chal jata hai first half was really amazing it's definitely not like you know the best like job we met but it is nice feel good film so yeah watch it because uh, it has great music it has uh, good performances very modern romance and uh, yeah the dialogues are very much like you know realistic as a flowery language nahi hai now the last movie i would like to say is devdas which is an romantic drama film very tragic 
romantic love story it's directed by Sanjay Leela Bansali and it has uh, Shah Rukh Khan, Aishwarya Rai Bachchan and uh, Madhuri Dixit as the lead stars of the film. Devdas is based on Sharad Chandra Chattopadhyay's uh, novel by the same name and this is definitely not the first film which was made. Um, it, this is like the third film. So the film starts with Shah Rukh Khan's character uh, who is a very wealthy law graduate. He returns to India after his studies in London uh, to marry his childhood sweetheart uh, that is Aishwarya's character Paro. But uh, Devdas family rejects this proposal and instead of uh, fighting for his love you know he decides to drown himself in alcohol and uh, which kind of leads to his health of course getting affected and emotionally also he gets really deteriorated total barbadi of his life and uh, of course for some time he finds refuge with a prostitute that is Madhuri Dixit's character Chandramukhi. Of course what I liked about this story was the strong character of Paro. She's not like you know your typical heroine, ha, tike, whatever you treat me, I'll take it. You know the way you, whatever the actor will treat her, she'll be timid. When uh, Devdas realizes his mistake and asks her to elope with him, she refuses because of the way he or his fa family especially treated her family. So I think I really like her character and I kind of could identify with her character more. And of course Chandramukhi is quite opposite. She's more feminine. She's more good hearted. She's, she's your typical Indian woman, you know, with how she's supposed to be. Um, forgiving, letting the guy behave in whatever way. <laughs> anyway, I think definitely, you know, what works for the film was the performances by all the three actors, the grand sets and of course dance performances of Madhuri Dixit. So yeah, even though there is not much to take away from Deda's character, but I still like it because he was extreme. Even though um, he knew what he was doing, kind of. There's no like grey shade that he has in him. I do like. Sometimes tragic love stories are also good to watch. And yeah, even though it's like very melodramatic, I think it's really nice to watch. And uh, the dialogues are so over the top. But then of course, it was set in a different era. So it's, it's nice to watch it. Maybe people talk like that <laughs> during that time. So that's what I like about uh, Sanjay Leela Bansali's films, you know, everything is so grand. The sets are grand, the music is grand, has classical tones in it. And uh, I think the movie, if anyone likes this film, it has to be definitely for the performances. You know, there are definitely scenes which really make you take notice, you know. Brilliant performances, dialogues, music, everything is amazing, I'm sure. The direction of Sanjay Leela Bansali is awesome. Alright, that's it from me folks. I hope you like this video and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment below and let me know what are your favorite Bollywood romantic films. And please share this video with your friends and please subscribe. If you're liking my videos, my channel, please press the subscribe button. And if you want to check out my last video, it's somewhere here. Until next time, it's bye-bye from me. Take care.